Hey, what's going on guys? This is Tyler, Pharmacist with Pharmacy Update. Today I wanted to give you guys information on a major recall that was announced recently, and this is concerning metformin extended release tablets. And I will say up front that if you are taking the immediate release or regular tablet, uh, this video does not concern you. Uh, those have not been recalled yet. Also, there are other extended release tablets of metformin that have not been recalled either, so you may not be affected. The topics I will be covering in today's video, and I will put the timestamps on these if you want to skip around. Uh, first, I will talk about the recall and why the company decided to do this. Then I will tell you what substance that they have found in these recalled metformin tablets and give you a little information on this substance. I will then show you pictures of what the recalled tablets look like so you can check your bottles to see if you are affected. The FDA announcement only shows what the stock bottles look like. Um, and those are the ones in the pharmacy, so that doesn't really help much. So I will be showing you what the actual tablets look like. And then at the end of the video, I will tell you what the recommendation is if you currently have these tablets. So make sure to stick around for that. If you find the information in this video helpful or informative, I would appreciate it if you would leave a like on the video. And also, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, with all that being said, I first want to discuss the announcement made by the FDA. On July 8th of 2020, the FDA announced that the drug company Lupin Pharmaceuticals was issuing a voluntary recall on metformin extended release tablets. The reason for this recall was because the company had found during their testing that certain batches of their metformin extended release tablets contained levels of a probable human carcinogen that was higher than the acceptable level. And carcinogen means that this substance probably does cause cancer, especially if taken for a long period of time. Lupin Pharmaceuticals said that they are initiating this recall out of an abundance of caution. You know, my thing with that is if you found higher levels of a carcinogen than is acceptable, wouldn't you have to recall these tablets anyway? Uh, so I found that statement kind of odd. Uh, but anyway, this recall does include both the 500 milligram and 1000 milligram dosages of extended release metformin. And this is a large scale recall uh, because they have recalled all tablets of this medication that were distributed between November 21st of 2018 and May of this year. And that's kind of unusual because usually when you see a recall, it is just for certain batches or lot numbers but this recall is for all tablets given out basically in the last two years. So this is a very large recall. Very quickly I want to cover the defect they have found in these recalled products and that is NDMA. Now this is the same substance they found in ranitidine or Zantac products uh, that caused them to come off the market. And you might be surprised to find out that this toxic substance is found in many common foods that we eat, uh, some of those being cured meat, fish, beer, and it's also found in tobacco smoke. So there is an acceptable level of NDMA that you can take per day, but the concern currently is that these metformin products may contain higher levels than the acceptable level, and that's what the problem is. As we discussed, it is classified by the EPA as a probable human carcinogen, which again means that it probably does cause cancer, especially if taken at higher doses for a long period of time. There has not been studies done in humans for obvious reasons, but they have done some studies using animals uh, to study its toxicity. So in these animal studies, it has been found to be a very toxic substance when given in high doses and it's especially toxic to the liver. They also found that rats exposed to low levels of NDMA for a long period of time did develop cancerous tumors on the liver. So this substance is definitely not something that you want to take in doses higher than that acceptable level. Okay, I will now show you what the tablets look like so you can go and check your bottles to see if you have any of these. And like I said, this recall includes all tablets that were distributed since November of 2018. So if you have any of these, they are very likely recalled. So here we go. 
This is what the Lupin brand of Metformin 500 milligram extended release looks like. It is a oval white tablet with LU on one side and looks to me like a Q21 on the other side. So I will just give you a second to take a look at that. Okay. Next we have Metformin Extended Release 1000 milligram tablet. Here it is. Uh, this tablet is also white oval shaped and it has an LU on one side and an L42 on the other. All right, so my final topic of the day, what do you do if you look in your bottle and you find that you have some of these tablets? Well, currently the company is saying that you should continue to take this medication as prescribed. And I know that might sound crazy, but stopping your medication can have negative effects as well. So you do want to be careful about that. What you need to do is contact your pharmacist, physician, or healthcare provider to discuss alternative treatments. And like I said before, metformin extended release tablets, not all of them have been recalled. Uh, we currently can still order other brands of this medication. So that would be a quick fix is just to get your metformin from a different manufacturer than Lupin. Uh, so you would need to speak with your pharmacy about that. And my last recommendation here is to keep an eye out for any new recalls that come out. We just went through all this with ranitidine or Zantac. At first, just one company recalled ranitidine, and then more companies announced recalls. And then earlier this year, the FDA basically banned the sale of Zantac and ranitidine in the United States. And now I'm not saying that that is going to happen, but it's always a possibility. So you need to keep an eye out just in case more recalls come out for metformin. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, I would appreciate if you could like the video if you found it helpful. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up on the latest pharmacy and medical updates. I also love to hear from you guys as well. Please comment below with any other questions or concerns that you may have, or were you affected by this recall? What thoughts do you have about it? Just let me know in the comments below. So once again, thank you for watching and have a nice day.